It may be difficult to imagine when looking at a tiny newborn baby, but that infant has around 300 bones, and those bones are growing and changing shape every day. Adults, on the other hand, have 206 bones, which make up about 15% of their body weight. Wait, did we really just say that babies have nearly 100 more bones than adults? How is that possible? Well, even though bones appear to be tough and rigid, they're actually made up of living tissue and calcium that's always being built up and discarded throughout your life. Let's take a closer look at how this explains the discrepancy between a baby and you. As your baby grows into childhood, much of that cartilage will be replaced by actual bone. But something else happens, which explains why 300 bones at birth become 206 bones by adulthood. Many of your baby's bones will fuse together, which means the actual number of bones will decrease. The space that separates the ends of two bones that eventually fuse is also cartilage, like the tissue you have in the tip of your nose. The fusing of bones occurs throughout the body. You may notice that there are one or more soft spaces in between the bones in your baby's skull. These soft spots may even freak you out a bit, but they're perfectly normal. They're called fontanelles, and they'll eventually close as bones grow together. Replacing cartilage with fused bone begins when tiny blood vessels, called capillaries, deliver nutrient-rich blood to osteoblasts, the cells that form bones. Osteoblasts create bone that covers cartilage at first, and then ultimately replaces it. Then, bone growth in children occurs at the ends of many bones, which have growth plates. The growing tissue in each plate determines the final size and shape of the bone. When a person stops growing, the growth plates close. Growth plates are weaker than other parts of your child's skeleton and are therefore more susceptible to fractures and other injuries. This is why a fall off a bicycle may land your kid in a cast, whereas you can take a similar fall and just have a bruise, perhaps on your body as well as your ego. Calcium is the mineral essential to the formation of new bone tissue. It's found in both breast milk and formula. And if your child is resistant to eating their leafy greens later on, remind them that the calcium found in these vegetables, as well as in dairy products, helps them grow. By early adulthood, the fusing of bones and bone growth have stopped. Adult bones are very strong, but light. And surely now that you have your 206 bones, 